It's like I tap into a knowledge that makes me see clearly everything before that and everything after that. <laughs> Telling the truth in a way that the other person just wake up. Nobody is special anymore until everybody is. When I'm in front of somebody, I am them, and I see exactly why they do or say whatever they're saying or doing. I know it sounds Chinese a little bit, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I am more present every second to who I am and who is in front of me, what is my world, and to be learning from it. I was brought up with parents that were pretty aware. The love was not always a love that is soft. I had judged it before I embraced it. And when I dropped the judgment of soft and rough, I saw that it was true. And I came to the meaning of truth is not always soft and it's okay. I don't have time to doubt myself, not even a second. What drives me is that if I used to be them and where I was was unhealthy and where I was made me have lives that were feeling incomplete and something was missing, to today who I am, where I feel whole and complete and there is nothing missing, I think anybody who is here would love to be inspired by here. We are made out of that essence that is love and knowing. We just forgot along the way with the drama that we live in. And not only that, we are looking to go back to that. Every morning, everybody, Whatever they're doing is to get to that. Either love for self or love for others, whatever you call it, you are doing only out of love. And it's about time that you know it. <laughs> this is what we do. Oh, I have hope. Oh, I hope this happened. But yet, if God himself come down and say, here, you say, no, no, I don't believe it's possible. So why have hope? Why have hope if you don't believe it's possible? That's the game we're playing and it's about time. We stop that because meanwhile, we are not being supportive of our creation. We give life, we hold the family, we support our men and husband, our kids. So it's about time that we stop asking for empowerment. <laughs> if we were not aware of our power, we would not be sitting here asking for one. So it, it's just so funny when I see all this thing about empowering women, empowering women. I'm like, wow, when are we gonna stop this and get to work? If it's in your being and this is who I am being, there is no way somebody can frustrate me in who I am being. So my relationship with them is that I bring myself without judging where they at. It's not about judging where they at. Where they at is where I am too. So there is no judgment. So in my world, it's a beautiful world because no matter how many luggage you come with, I see you anyway as beautiful. It's not that I'm up there on TV with people that do not know me and I'm trying to change them. This is my world. And whoever comes into my world is part of me. So even that question of why do I wanna, there is no, I don't sit around and say, oh, well, I would love to, I wanna. I am there already. When your days are full of intensity, when you hear and you connect with every human being in your life, it feels like 50 billion people. <laughs> it all depends how you're doing, what you're doing. So once you get it, you do whatever you want with it, but you will always remember that somebody trusted you enough and loved you enough to share that education for you. So if you lack to take it, don't say, nobody taught me. That's what I would love. People awakening that somebody did say it 
and lived it for them.